Like I said on the thing, I was like, he ain't got no identity. This is it. Identity for fam. He's entertaining. He's this, he's that. Brand wise. He's not here for that though. You banking. He doesn't see himself as just entertaining. He sees himself as a elite champion. Say the map ain't mapping. Something, something's wrong, bruv. The decimal's off. Something is no. not. Look. I can do it like money made, glamorous ting. 12 round unanimous ting. Casual fans on an analyst ting. That ain't KG and Travis's ting. That's undefeated, undisputed like Lennox. Do it on points, jab your head off. Who tried to say that AJ fell off? Must have never had Nigerian jello. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters. Chatting it up. Guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That's what you want to do. That's what you go do. Like, subscribe, get us up in the rankings, man. We're, we're on the oh, road to 2K. The road to 2K subscribers. Listen, we haven't shouted the people out that just listened to the audio. Big up yourselves. Make sure, yeah. I just want to shout out you right now, the silent listeners, the, the listeners that we don't even know. Hang tight yeah. you. It's important. Now, for real, we appreciate it, man. Yeah. And also, shout out to anyone that's checking us out for the first time as well. Wow. I can see we've got, had like a, a, a whole bunch of new subscribers from the live over the weekend. So, yes. you know, welcome to our podcast. Welcome. This, this is where we have some very wonderful, unfiltered conversations on the state of boxing. Yes. And we will probably say things that you don't like, but we leave, we leave, a, we leave space for you to get the, your feelings off as well. If you feel that myself or Travis is chatting shit, Monday Night Smoke's your show. Call in, mm -hmm. tell us, listen, I've had enough. Even, even the silent listeners that, you know, you listen to the show and you're like, I don't agree with what you said in the podcast. Monday Night Smoke. We want to hear from you, man. Straight. But obviously, yeah, you know I mean, got to let, let the new guys come in, bro. They're walking into a hurricane. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We're, we're guys out right now. We don't represent Sky Sports Energy. We don't represent BT Sports Energy. We represent the Barbershop's Energy. Let's go. Yeah. So we come here, we talk boxing, we express ourselves. No politics here. We're just calling it as we see it. So cool. join in, mm. buckle up, because this is lively. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very lively. All right, listen. Let's ask some questions, bro. You know, bro. The first time. of all, what's your tail of the tape, fam? Look, come on, G. I'm O and O, fam. Never fought, never lost. If I did, someone gets knocked out, and it's definitely not me. Oh, crazy. But well, you know what? The other day I was walking and I had a piff, like I had an epiphany. I was like, I need to ask Travis a question, fam, that I've never asked him before. Big man, Go on. what's your tail of the tape? Ha, glad you asked. <laughs> what can I say? Undefeated, bro. Oh, my days. You know, when you see my name, <laughs> there's no L in sight. Woo! <laughs> Strictly W's, you understand? I see you. 2 and 0, bro. Come 2 on. 2 and 0, 100% win rate. Yeah? 50% yeah? knockout rate. Yeah. yeah? Half the men that entered the room with me, they left on their back. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> Bro, um, let's just go this in. This weekend. Let's, 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 what a weekend of boxing, bro. You know, what before we even do that. I thought we was going to do the comments so we can just let's go get into it. the comments. Yeah, you I was going right. to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm already here, bro. Soul Star cool. straight. Soul Star 89 says, easy guys. Had to stop cycling to comment. 95 episodes. Always enjoy this pod, man. Big up. Now let's start podding. You know, he kind of, he gives us his comments in between while he's listening. I know, I know. Crazy thing is, he didn't come back yet. <laughs> oh no, he did. He got, oh shit. Yeah, he did it. Nah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Um, all right, let's do it. Lucas A says, I was walking down the street in Liverpool the other day and I saw Mo Salah on a billboard doing the Adidas thing. I immediately thought of you guys ripping Dubois about his because I was howling so much that people thought I had lost the plot. <laughs> You guys need to get Dubois on your show and let him know it's all love. It would be good for him to come on and change the narrative about himself and also win some new fans. You, you guys go. are doing a great job. You are now the top of my list of boxing podcasts. Wow. Because you're real. And you come from a perspective I can identify with. Wow. We have always had people tell us, uh, tell out. We've always had people sell out for us in the mainstream. Like no, no one better than Bunts. And even when people went TV or the radio, they couldn't keep it 100. You guys keep it 100, so never change. It might be popular in the mainstream, but there's a gap in the market for it. Representation matters, and you guys will inspire future generations. You're crushing it on the airwaves. <laughs> he, goes, he said, it's more than a boxing podcast. Like you guys say, it's a community. I think it's a one-stop shop. Live podcast where you get boxing news, 
history, comedy, inspiration, and a sense of belonging. Wow. I still listen to other podcasts like Five Live Boxing. He goes mainly because of Costello, because I think he's fantastic. Tr- Trick Dixon's Boxing Life Stories. That's a great podcast. Mm. And he goes, you guys are my number one. Keep up the good work. Wow. One love. Man, wow. that's a powerful wow. message, man. Thank you, Luke. For real. It's messages like that that just get you, just let you know you're on the right, you're on the right course. Yeah, man. I, that made me feel good. I'm not gonna lie. Like that, that's for like, real. Yeah, yeah. That was. I awesome. like the sense of belonging. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? that, yeah, that that touched me still. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Listen. Um. That's it. Oh, let's. I'm just trying to. There I you got go. off the kid. Okay, go on. He said this episode was needed. It's just a shame it was Ryan Garcia that inspired it. Sorry, but I don't believe him. I think he just didn't want to take a risky fight and potentially get beat. He's the golden boy of his promotion now and can't handle all the eyes on him. Oh, that's a controversial take. Yeah, I think it's hard to say. You can't, that's a harsh one. You still. Can't say, I mean, I think you can't say mm. you don't believe mental health, though, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, if someone says they have that, you just got to be like, okay. Do you know what I mean? Because how do you argue it? There's no way to prove yeah. it. You know, so. There's, um, there's, there's no point in finding out he was telling the truth, like, for something like this. And that's what puts it in a tricky situation because. You know, a lot of people throw. They have the angle on Tyson Fury. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I've said on the pod at times. I say, you know, he's he's a far more calculated than he appears. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I, I don't know if he's above th- that kind of move. Yeah. But, but at the same time, there you go. mental health is such a fragile thing. Anyone, is it worth it? Anyone, anytime. Worth- yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. So again, you you just pray for you pray for the person to have a good level of respect for themselves. To not mm. do the to use that as a rollout, but yeah, again, we we will never know. That's the thing we're not in yeah. anyone's mind. Um, there you go. Chill out. Four um seven seven says, look at the fire topics. I'm wanting to um click and stick to the time um timestamps, but I've got to stay true and watch the beginning to end and wait for KG to slay Wada. Listen. <laughs> uh, shouts out to Riaz. He goes sick impersonation of Frank Travis. Uh-huh. You know what's funny? I saw a couple comments about the impersonation. I'm like, I don't remember what I said about Frank. I probably need to watch this episode back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Trav, I just want to let's get, get into it. it. Yeah, yeah, let's get into it. Um, Calm. Go true. So yeah, man, what a weekend of boxing we had, man. Uh-huh. Um, so let's, let's recap, because we, we did a live and we watched the fight card. Shouts out to all the great defeaters that watched the fights with us. We were yeah. on the live for five hours. Oh. Yeah, you know I mean, like that was a proper marathon, man. Shout out to them, man, because these people are sitting with us, communicating like they're here. When I say like hey. we they get here before us. So we're like, yo, we did five hours. Certain man did like five hours ten, five hours twenty. Do you know what I mean? So big up, like that Real. was incredible. Real. No, hundred yeah. percent, man. Um, so let's let's get into the fights that we saw. Come on, um, Campbell Hatton. I just want to say you this because you said this, you said this a lot, and it's fair. I think the stimulus package that they're giving to Campbell Hatton is, I, I think it's it's borderline. It feels to me a bit borderline ridiculous in the sense of like Impressive. they're talking to Campbell Hatton like, ah, oh, wouldn't it have been good for you if you had twenty thousand in here, bro? Like. This guy's he ain't had that many fights. Like, say talking to him about twenty thousand and letting him think that he has to it's work weird. towards that. You know, you you're giving it it's like almost too much too soon. You know, yeah. you're doing big pay per view. You're doing big nut. Like these are big fights, and you haven't got any, you haven't done anything to earn to be there. You know, yes, mm. your dad and I respect that. Again, we said we're not totally against nepotism. Like, if your dad's done something, yeah, man, let your bring your you in if you can. But then there's still got to be, we can't just skip. I just, I just want you to be the level that we, like, I understand nepotism. Like, again, like we said, we're not, I'm not yeah. against it like that. But when you do get that seat, make sure you belong there. Yeah. I don't, I don't want no favoritism. It, yeah. That doesn't match up with the ability. That's yeah. where I'm at. And that's and when I'm looking at Campbell now, I say, yo, you don't belong on a pay-per-view card. And if you are going to be on a pay-per-view card, be on the 6 p.m. fight. Yes. Early. And Early. then show us the highlights of your fight later on. We don't need to see the we... maximum coverage that you're getting. It's, it, I think it's too much pressure on Campbell as well. Yeah. Because let's be real. He sees the stuff that people are saying online. Mm. He sees it. And he wouldn't get it if he wasn't ha- dealing with Let all his grow. extra, extra eyes. Let too him much. grow, bro. Again, like I hate to always bring in the NBA analogies, but all I think of is Lonzo Ball, fam. Again, Lonzo, good talent. Yeah. Lonzo's a talent. Was he ready yet? 
at the time when his dad was talking about him and put that amazing pressure on him and not even just the pressure, the target. Like, that yeah. kid shouldn't have a target on his back just yet. But people were like, if he's fighting that six, if he's fighting that, that early, I need yep. that fight. Like, I'm going to start saying, listen, I'm going to get eyes. Let me fight Campbell Hatton. Then all of, a, all of a sudden, you're putting him at, you're just putting this kid at risk because the eyes are on him, you know? And it's like, if the eyes are on him, if I take him out, I get those eyes now. That's how people are going to mm. see it. Let the guy grow. When he gets into his like, I don't know, six, seven fights, you can put him on a bit later in the card. But I feel like to go on after like a title fight in terms of Craig Richards and Bivo, and then we see Campbell like... Even even Eubank Jr. going after Eubank Jr. Like, you know, Craig, as much as people were going to obviously speak about Eubank Jr., but he's a name still. He's a name. People still going to turn in, tune into a Eubank Jr. fight. 100%. Like, there's not... It's just it's just unnecessary pressure on Campbell Hatton. Really? And I think he's I don't want to even want to critique his boxing. We're not, we're because not I just feel like boxing. I'm not gonna be fair to yeah, it's not we're gonna not be fair. About his like, boxing. It's not fair. Like but again, we never critiqued Ricky Hatton or Chris Eubank seen it in their second fight. It's impossible. Do you know what I mean? It's like unnecessary stuff that he's having to face. I think but, it's handling. So we're all, we're only arguing about the handling. I think in terms of the kid, keep going. You know what I mean? Keep striving. When the time is right, we'll get to talk about you, but it's just too early. The same way we we don't we don't ever talk about um Who's got the kid, man? Oh, man. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. It's supposed to fight Tyson. Didn't happen. This is Hollyfield. Evan Hollyfield. We're not yeah. out here talking about Evan. He's got, he's got stuff to do. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Once he now and really announces, then we'll say, let's let's have some Evan conversations. Now we'll say, okay, cool. Let's talk yeah, now. Yeah, but it's not fair, bro. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So anyway, um, on to other... We, Natasha Jonas, bro. Yeah. Natasha, like... That was a Katie Taylor again. Great, right. One second. Let's just drop a bomb for them too. Listen, Katie Taylor, man, she's made of something else. Like, mm. I've got a lot of respect for Katie Taylor. She did, she um she's gone into a few wars. I'll be honest and say how I've been feeling about Katie. The pursuit fights a, a lot for me were a fight that kind of made me almost go off her a bit. Just because I hate when the card is, when the deck is stacked against someone, like the underdog. Yeah. You know, I feel like yeah. boxing should be one of those things that is fair, you know, and usually it is if you get a knockout. It's one of those things where if it goes to the judges, anything can happen. But in boxing, I feel like it's a it's a great equalizer in life where you have to be good to win. You know, that's what right. I, that's right. I, that's what I love politics, about boxing. Politics can only influence so much when it comes so to boxing. Much. Because you can get knocked out. Someone yeah. can just knock you out. That's it. Now, I think when we've seen, you know, what appeared to be some gift decisions for Katie, yeah, it makes you want it to go the other way. Yeah. Just because it's like, well, what, you're just going to win every single close fight? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the, Natasha Jones, for me, put in a great effort. I felt like the fight could have gone either way. I'm not too mad at that decision, if I'm being brutally not honest. As much as I, you know, we have Bridget and Bias because we've spoken to Natasha. Yeah. I do, I do feel like because of the history of with Katie Taylor's controversial wins, I'm almost rooting for a decision to just go the other way, just so yeah. I can see something different. And that's what do I had I mean? to not do. I had to stop myself and say, okay, watch this. Pretend you haven't seen, pretend, take all that out of this and watch this for what it is. And you've got to say, listen, the girl's a good fighter, man. She, not only is she a good fighter, the way she's doing these are big defences. These are big defences of her title. And then when she has to bite down and really go the next level, you could tell that she didn't sleep on um, Natasha at all. She actually she actually looked, she was in better shape and she came into mm. the fight just, she came to the fight so switched on. So I say credit to her because we need that. We need like, we that was a great fight. They almost stole the, sh they stole the show. It's a great fight. It's a great fight. You know, for me, that was the fight of the night. Yeah. 100%. I think it's it was the fight show. of the night. I enjoyed that fight. I thought it was good. It had, yeah, you know I mean, it had character. Later in the fight, Natasha Jones came on strong. Yeah. She realized that, yo, I can clock you with this shot. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That, that elite, that right hook was just landing. And I was just like, it was a great effort. She didn't get the nod. We wanted to see Natasha, you know, get the belt, but it wasn't to be. I think, you know, uh, going back a few episodes when Panit commented and said that, you know, at this stage, it's not, the women's divisions aren't necessarily that deep. So watching them fight two, three times might not be the worst thing. I'd love to see that fight again. We need it. We need it. I'd but love I don't to think Katie... come in 
with that same enforcement, like in that same, like, yeah, like I don't think Katie was trying to see it fight. though. Katie wasn't trying to see it. She was like, she was like, yeah, we could do the rematch, but I think she should go and fight. Like she was saying, up away, mad was names, mad names. Because why? She knows that it's a super tear up, and if I, what would have been nice is if they draw, they they called it a draw, and they made it a trilogy. Do you know what I mean? That would have been for me. That would have been a better be result. Nice. It would have been a better yeah. result, but again, I, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to say also, robbery, robbery. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. But also, what I do want to say is credit to Katie Taylor, man. Credit, she seems like a really nice person. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. seeing her talk in the post fight, she's very humble. Like, it's very down to earth. And I love the fact that, you know, there was a sense of unity between them. Yes. In terms of them kind of being like, well, you know, we brought it tonight. Yeah. Let Trezor and Parker step it up and deliver because we did. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I did like to see that because I think, you know, there is a common feeling amongst women in boxing where it's like, we still have a collective fight that's mm. bigger than just us going head to head. Pay them, man. Pay them. That's I'm right. Telling pay, you, them pay them and more. three minute rounds. Pay them. They want it. They want the three minute rounds. I don't know who, and boxing can't be this backwards to say that these women don't want to do it, mix it for three minutes because when they're training, they're doing three minute rounds. Like, and then they we'll, then we'll see the knockouts. Then you want to make this more explosive. Yeah. We will see um, knockouts due to fatigue and everything. You can't. Two minutes, they're okay. They tr they, they, they're training for free. Come on, guys. Give us three-minute rounds. It will Women's boxing will go to another level. And start paying 100%. them. Start paying them appropriately as well. Yeah, because certain names yeah. that certain names that are like, they're not even on their level. They're not even, they haven't got a bigger profile than some of these women that are fighting and they're getting paid more. Nah, bruv. Like that needs to be looked at. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's how I feel. If you if you want more women in the game, because no one's gonna come to a place, no one's coming to a party where they can't get none. These women need mm. to say, "Raw, I'm gonna brock up my face. I'm gonna put it all on the line. I need to get paid." Do you know what I mean? So pay these women, man. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's um, real talk. That's real talk, bro. Um. All right. So let's get to the Eubank Junior Morrison <laughs> fight. Yeah. Well, you... We saw your takes in the Monday Night Smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the people that didn't see it, yeah. For the people that didn't see it, um, I'm, I'm with, I'm a hundred percent in agreement with Nas. Yeah, he doesn't need to. I don't need to see him anymore, fam. That's how it is. I think I don't know if he's hurting his brand, but I think listen, switch it up, Love Island, fam. If you can do anything, Love Island. switch it up, bruv. New career, fam. Just. I don't want to see this no more, bro. Because again, I, I don't I think go on. And, are, hold on, let me get these. Are. It's just how I call it where it is, fam. I don't see you as the guy. That's it. Mm. I don't see you as the guy. I don't see you how you see yourself. You know. And um, but let's be clear. That on. statement you just made there, yeah, yeah, is that a problem for Junior? It's is not that really. A, is that is that Junior's like? It can there's be. a lot of times. No, but it can be. It can be. It, it can be a problem for Junior because he. I think there's a there's an unre. It's not realistic because if he did see how he is, he'd work hard to change those things. And we're not seeing again. Anyone can say so. People say raw, harsh, harsh, harsh here. But I'm saying, did you see? You said you watched it back. Have you saw anything different from him to um in his previous fights to what he showed us um the other day? Nothing at no, all. No, what no, what I saw not okay. What I saw that was different, yeah? Mm -hmm. There was an a, a, a more consistent attempt at the jab. Didn't say, I, don't, I don't feel like he necessarily achieved ha having a better jab yet, but I see an attempt at jabs. Like, I see him trying to actively do that, whereas before, it's almost like non-existent, just kind of plods forward and, hop, like, waits to see an opportunity, and it's, like, very static. This time around, yeah, he was pumping the jab. I don't think he has a good jab yet. Do you know what I mean? But I did see an attempt at it. I also saw different stance completely to what Junior normally does. Mm -hmm. Like I saw like a high right hand early in the fight, like a very, very Roy-esque Roy attempt yeah. at moves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, I'll be honest, I didn't like to see that. Yeah. Someone, I think it was Bruce that said it on the Monday Night Smoke call. And he said, look, man, like I think Roy needs to be allowing Junior to improve on what he already does quite well. Wonderful. Because let's be real, once Junior gets inside and he starts to let his hands go, he's yeah. a... He's a big thing. He's an issue. Even for Tony to Bellew, even Tony Bellew's literally mentioned that and said again yeah. on the inside when he's popping off those shots and just he it's will just make contain. his surrender. And but we don't get it. And I, I he, honestly feel he that reminds me of. So, I think there's something. Go on, carry on. 
No, I was going to say, like, I remember when a head teacher joined my school, right? I went to St. Joseph's Academy, right? Mm -hmm. Mad school. Like, very low in the rankings in terms of how yeah. well they were doing. New head teacher joins, Mr. Stickins. I'll never forget this. Mm. He came in and said, listen, the GCSEs are in seven months, right? I want you guys to focus on the subjects that you already know you do well. Don't, if you've never been good at science and you don't care about science, don't start getting your head in these textbooks. It's not going to come, yeah? He goes, I want you to build on what it is that you're already doing well so you can get the best out of yourself. And I remember thinking, Bomb at this Mr. stage, Stickins. what, yeah, it probably makes sense. That's what it is for Eubank. You got him in there and he's starting from scratch, which, like, you know, like I said, I think I was like, he ain't got no identity. This is it. Identity for FM. This that's what he is. Identity for FM. Right now, that's all I see, fam. And that's why when I say to you, look, he's entertaining. You, what you lot call it, what oh. you lot say about him is he's entertaining, he's this, he's that. Brand wise. I don't think he's here to, he's not here for that, though. He doesn't see himself as just entertaining. He sees himself as a elite champion. You know what I mean? So then it's like, that's when we talk about when we say the math ain't mathing. In this situation, something something's wrong, bro. The decimal's off. Something is not correct in this situation. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, um, I, I honestly feel that for him to go on to the next level, he has to honestly look at himself because... Even it's the end of statements, and I get it, you're probably trying to still sell your next fight by saying, yeah, could have got him out of here anytime he wanted. We could have, um, I'm a killer, this, that, and the other. It's like, no, you didn't. And then so now someone like me that's watching it, and if you talk the big talk, I want you to match that with elite performances. Or then I think you're just chatting shit. Do you know what I mean? And that's all it is. It's like, you. I wouldn't feel this way about any other fighter if he, was, if he just didn't present like that. I say, yeah, oh, he's doing his thing. Let me make his money. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. You talk like you're talking like, yeah, like yeah, I should be in there mixing the Canelos. Yeah, Billy Joe Saunders. Ah, uh, it's like work, like, bro. You haven't done anything. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You have mm. not done anything to talk the way you're talking. So now I'm all I'm hearing is um Cal Sarlan talking about Kel Brook. We we cussed the last man that mentioned Kel Brook. Do you know what I mean? You, we talking about, look at Kel Brook's eye, bro. Look at his situation, fam. Kel Brook it's actually should... mad that Conor Ben and Eubank have both fought at Kel Brook. It's mad. It's mad. But then, and again, it's why? Because, again, Kel Brook's a, a name, isn't it? Kel Brook's a name. And it's like, you know, maybe this, that, and the other. Or, or you, you can see the financial package created around that. But then I'm saying that in in the division that um, Eubank's in, Bunk Kel Brook, bruv. Say I want Andrade. Do you know what I mean? Say I want... See, like, put yourself back into the mix. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Like, right now, you're saying that these guys are beneath me, yeah? Shout up. Say, yo, big man, I'm going to mash you up. Then I'm going here. Then Triple G. Then I'm, I'm going to be moving... I'm moving with that eliteness, how I carry myself. And that's why I say, again, the decimals are off. It's not... It's not subtract. I don't understand. I don't know this man. I think that the plan for Eubank is to get a fight this summer, like another, you know, a Kel Brook, someone challenging, nothing too crazy, but then Triple G end of the year. Problem is Triple G is tied up. So the only way to really get Triple G would be to go for it this year. Triple G is planning to fight on New Year's Eve this year. So it's like, it's still a way out. So Triple G could take that fight this summer. I reckon if it comes, he's going to have to take it. And he's gonna have to answer to a lot of his, you know what I mean? A lot of to the things he's saying. The thing is with me is that I'm not I'm not mad at Eubank Jr.'s personality. We need characters like him in boxing. It's not that. Do you know what I mean? We we need I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. But my thing is, let's just get away from that and get to entertainment. If we stick on the entertainment side of things, bro, the guy is a whole package. Of like course. I get it. He, he he says stuff, it doesn't match up in the ring sometimes. All right, cool. But at the same time, Nobody, in my estimate, is going to knock him out. I don't think anyone knocks him. He's still a full night's work to beat. I just think so. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, fine. If, you know, <sighs> I'm not trying to be on the hill to be defending you, Junior. I want to see him win a world title. And I think I if we deep down on, on why that might be, I think I relate to the whole pressure of following your parents' footsteps. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's always why I never really shoot him down all the way. Mm. I, I want to see him hold a title before he calls but it Travis, a Travis, let me say this right now, and I'm not even lying. 
You've had more better nights than him, fam. Sorry. Bro. This ain't about the comparison. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, bro. At the end of the day, you've had better nights, yeah. fam. The promise. When we're talking about proving yourself and, and when legends, yeah? A legend watched you. So let's say, let's just imagine it. Let's just play this game. And I know it's not that... You're not doing it. I'm doing it, innit? Yeah? Nas, mm. Prince Nazim is a legend in my book. Yeah? Okay. He said... Where's the camera? Well, which camera is it? He needs to retire. That's what the legend said. I said, whoa, yeah? yeah. You now perform with Dave Chappelle. He left the cult fam. And what did he say about you, bro? That's a legend. That's it. That's the king of this shit. Excuse my language, yeah? Everyone, every comedian, if you told me you're not a comedian, you don't wish Dave Chappelle to watch your set and tell you something good and then bring you back. Because he did. He watched you once and he said, yo, come on my tour. It's very different. Yeah, so okay, I don't want to cool. hear it. That's so end of the day. Achieve, All right, cool. Bro. Okay, cool. But then you look at you, what Eubank Jr. has done. Go on. The girl. He's been brought into the camp with Roy Jones Jr. The girl. He's been brought into camp and he's working with Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Jr. is getting, Roy Jones Jr. Is getting paid. It's a great move. It's a great move because I'm not known as a trainer right now. These people get to see you are loud. You and your dad is loud. This is them. This is amazing branding for me. This makes sense for me. Again, like who am I as a trainer? No one is, no one's saying, "Yo, um, Triple D needs to go and train with um, Roy Jones Jr." No one's saying that. No one's saying um, Javante Davis link up with Roy. But let's say if Roy turns Eubank into something, I've now announced myself to the world as my new career as a trainer. This makes total sense to me. This is beautiful. The, I won't be. Mm. I could train a, the little guy back in back in the states that nobody knows, and no one will know I'm doing it. I need to announce myself with the, the greatest, um, whatever you want to call it. Do you know what I mean? And that's what it is. I hear, I hear what you're saying. I hear I'm what you're saying. Paid. I think for me, like, you know, this is getting less about, on my on my, my stance, is less about necessarily what I think is definitely going to happen yep. and more about what I want to see happen. It is what If it I is. keep it 100, that's just, yeah, that's, that's just what I'm what saying. And, and any day, you're, you're just still doing, you're doing potential FC fan. That's all you're out here, like, just saying raw potential, potential, potential. But next gen, when there's new gens, it's crazy, bruv. That, that's, I don't know what gen this is. It's current It's current gen now. It's current gen. <laughs> it's current gen, fam. Do you know what I mean? And <laughs> I'm done. Anyway, let's go, <laughs> boy. Um, cool. um, Craig, Craig Richards. Craig Richards. Chizora. Chizora. Craig, let's go, Craig. Cool. We spoke to Craig, Craig. today. We did um, good conversation with Craig Richards. Great conversation. You know I'm 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 proud of him. I'm yeah. proud of him. I'm, I'm I'm proud of him. I think you know the jump from British to world level like that. It's not easy, do you yeah. know what I mean? And I think it it rings true to what we were watching when we spoke to him, and he confirmed this. Like as the fight went on, he was starting to understand that raw. Like it's not the the myth of you is not you're not invincible. Yeah. And as it goes on, you believe more. I can do this now. I can maybe I'm bigger than you. Maybe I can hurt you. And it's like. It's going on. So you can understand why maybe he figured it all out just a bit too late. Yeah. But what I like is the future for Craig Richards. Uh, so now I'm like, with that belief and experience, you know, you build on that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because it wasn't a performance where it's like he was taken to school. No. It was a performance where he started too late. Mm. So the lesson that you get from this is, okay, at this level, we get it cracking straight out of the gates. Yeah. And I think, you know, when we when when Craig is, is saying that, you know, these British guys and some of these fights, they don't have it. It doesn't motivate me to to get to that space. Mm. And I'm like, now after seeing that performance, I can believe it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, with the Shaq and Peters fight, he looked good. You know what I'm saying? There were some moments in there where it was a bit like, okay, cool. You know, tighten up. And then, you know, he got him out of there. Cool. Yeah. With that urgency, that Craig Richards that went in there with Bivol, I'm imagining him to just blast straight through Jack and Peters now. Last one. Well, we saw everything, we... everything that took two, three rounds to see now is one round. Yeah. And it's like these it speeds up now. And I'm like, you know, and 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 what I do like is is just sorry to keep going on. When he said in the in the last the interview that we did, and he was just like, nah, I watch these guys. And I'm not too proud to say that I take something away from it. You see what I'm saying? That that says to me that. It's a very humble approach to boxing. And mm. it also says to me that he's a, he studies. Student of the game. Do you see what I'm saying? And it reminds me, because we watched, when we interviewed him, I think the week before, we'd watched the Lennox doc. Yes. And I wanted to say the, that. I the was parallel. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why yeah. is there for me? I'm yeah, now yeah, looking yeah. thinking, 
And All right, I'm I'm watching very you know patiently what, with you guys. Do you know what I why I like that um analogy? It's it's sometimes a fighter does not want to say things about you, but you force them to say it. You know what I mean? You see it in um and I'll link I'll, I'll link back to comedy because it's what we know. Yeah? yeah, yeah. You perform, and then one of the one of the elders, one of the elder statesmen, will watch you watch your set, and they'll tell you even if they don't want to, they're forced to say, "Hey." <laughs> You, I'm watching you. I'm gonna watch how you move because, like, comedy's competitive anyway. It is. You know what I mean? It's very competitive. Don't think managers out here ha ha and like mm. we are watching. We're watching the mechanics of how you set up a joke, how you call back to the joke, when you how you control the crowd, when you know when to stop, when to. We're watching everything. You lot might just be watching our ha ha. We're watching every move that's been made it's a, science. it's a science every move that you're making we are watching and then we'll say that's a good comedian do you know what i mean so what happened with that fight with bivol to bring it back to the bring it back to craig is bivol was in the ring of him and he's watching him he's saying yo this man is thinking this man is i'm doubly thinking while in there with this man like I'm, I'm knowing you're good. I'm seeing your pedigree and saying, bro. So now when I'm talking, I, that doesn't just come from nowhere. I don't really just want to rate another fighter, but it's like, bro, like I, I could see this. I had to give it up. It's in, in spite of me. Like oh, I might not like a comedian, but I say, yo, yeah, he knows you what he's it. doing. He knows what it's he's like, doing. Just, I love the comedy parallel because it's perfect, bro. Because com- comedians will be at a comedy show. Yeah, and watch a comic on stage, and the whole room's laughing. But that comedian sitting there, straight face. Yeah, and he's acknowledging that he's funny. He's sitting there going, oh, "I see what he did there. I like yeah. it. Okay, that's yes. how you're giving it up. Yeah, cool. Like it's one of those ones. I'm sizing you up. Yes. We're watching. So when I walk backstage now after seeing it, I shake your hand and say, "Yeah, yeah, I see your levels." <laughs> that's what after that fight, when even that moment, when Craig is like, "Yo," at one point we. I looked for the shot. He looked for the shot and then we nearly threw it and then the bell is like, he looked at me kind of kind of nodded. It's that same moment where it's That's like, that I moment. see your level. I see yeah, your, your level. Here. I see you are here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love that. Like, again, like, I'm happy for Craig. Yes, there's Bertrand Bias, but it's beyond Bertrand Bias because I, I knew that I've, he's never changed. He's a student of the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Watching, he, he's removed himself from the mandem and been so dedicated, bro. When it wasn't mm. cool, when it wasn't cool, like when not everyone was yeah. in it. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. saying I'm trying to do this, and now knowing that it's gonna pay dividends. Come on. Yeah. And I love what I'm Eddie proud. Hearn said. I love what Eddie Hearn said, and I hope Eddie Hearn stays true to his word and puts him on and lets him lets him have these fights and gets him out more and stuff because he was behind. He was outside of the house, bro. When we're talking yeah. about Bawatsi's yard and all them man, them he weren't in, he was nowhere there, bro. But he's now, you know, what I mean, built a duplex. Them guys got to take him seriously. And also the fact is, bro, Bivol landed some shots on him. Yeah, he did. So that chin test, yeah, passed it. Come because on. I'll be honest, I didn't really see him wobbly at any nah. point. Where I was thinking to myself, because there were some shots landing, I was thinking to myself, all right, be careful. Mm. But at no point did I feel like, oh, he's going flip see. Mm. None of that. And I'm just yeah. like, yeah. this... Very interesting that the very interesting. Right now. Let's go. So um moving in. Oh sugar, we Canelo's fight is coming. Canelo Yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to that. We'll okay, get to cool, that cool, cool. Um yeah, yeah. wait, hold on, hold on. Ch- what we got? Chizora. Fucker. Chizora. G- All right. So, I'm gonna tell you straight, they robbed Chizora. They robbed him. But then like, someone you know had what? the best. I was, take. I was thinking about it. Like, I understand, but they robbed him. Let's 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 get it cracking, yeah. Let's get it cracking. I'm happy Were you to not- but wait, I need to get in this because someone that called in oh. today, I don't know if it was HGM. It was it HGM that's, that spoke about um, and the new. Yeah, it was him. And he spoke yeah. about his antics. The Shizora antics it hurts him. And yes. I think that take here yeah, was, that was for me a light bulb moment. Yes, see, Travis, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mm-hmm. believe he was robbed in this situation. But I believe that Shizora hurts himself. With, with the way antics. he moves. And now okay, the floor's yours. That's fair. But this is boxing. And there are things in place to make things fair, right? Judges are supposed to call the fight they're seeing, not the politics outside the ring, right? Mm. So looking at that, I'm like, yes, the antics do hurt. Politics in boxing, you know what I mean? They're messy in that way. Mm. But the fight that we watched, he knocks him down in the first round. You know, automatic, it's normally a 10-8. 
Joseph Walker came back in that round and had some decent little bit of moments. I'd say, you know, if they gave a 10 9, I'd, I'd be annoyed, but I wouldn't be like, oh, that's a flipping cheat. Yeah. But, you know, the rules tend to say 10 8. So that should be a 10 8. Then I see Chizora going to win probably like the next five or six rounds. Easy. Easy. You didn't knock out, you didn't knock down Chizora at any point. No. Nope. How do you come back and win? And even in the last round, Chizora closed that strong. Yeah. So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, Chatting rubbish, man. Joseph Parker for also it's annoying. Joseph Parker one because it's, it's, it's not my opinion. Say that one you more time. I'm saying? I think it glitched. I think it glitched. I said, oh, I said. Also, what's annoying is that Joseph Parker is soft, in my opinion. I don't think he's a potent threat for anybody. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. I just look at him and I think it, it just irritates me that his he's just going to continue. I prefer to see Chizora in with with certain men more than Joseph Parker. This is the thing. Um... I watched the speech that jo um, Chizori gave, yeah, and I felt for him. Like, literally, I was sitting there. At first, I was shocked. Like, yeah. I can't believe what I've seen. This is a robbery. Because, again, yeah. walking forward, body work, body work, headshot. It didn't look, it didn't, it wasn't attractive. It looked, he looked tired on the eyes. Like, oh, he's tired. Yeah, he's walking forward. Oh, he's taking a few shots. He's risking himself taking a few shots, but he's closing and he's getting yeah. to work. Yeah. Now, I don't know how the judges are doing these things because you think to yourself, come on, judges, you're seeing that. Like, you're, you're judge, like, you guys are schooled for this. You should know what this, you know what's happening. You know what he's doing. He's putting himself on the line, which is good anyway, because people like the come forward fighter. And then mm. he's, he's loading off, he's getting his shots off. Now, for um, Parker, that was just working the jab. Maybe trying to do the one two down the mid and some obviously Parker's work looks a bit cleaner because the stamina behind it. He didn't look as tired. But he was still getting beaten up. The thing is about the, the long style of fighting is that the shots will land look a bit cleaner because like yeah. is at distance, da da da. Yeah. But Chizora, in my opinion, probably wasn't getting the credit for the body work that he was doing at when all. he rams in. Bam, bam, bam. It's like he's just machine like. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think what happens is you know, when you get used to seeing something, you almost get numb to it. Yeah. You yeah. get what you get used to seeing Chizora back him against the ropes, go to work on a body for a, a, a overhook hook that maybe doesn't land. So then you say the whole thing wasn't successful. Yes. And I think judges probably get numb to Chizora's style. And then after a while, you see Chiz uh, Parker popping, popping, popping. And it looks like, oh, he's getting a clean work. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair. Yeah, because like, Parker stole rounds. Parker stole rounds. At the end, he's stealing like last 10, 15 seconds. Parker now wants to come to the party. You know, and it, it's stuff like that. That just, what? Chizo I feel for another, him now. Go on. I feel for him too, but here's another way of looking at it. You could say that Chizora's banked himself another payday. Go on, how do you say that? Because in losing, yeah, you lose, cool. You also get to do your speech at the end and say, look, man, you know, I come to fight and this is how they repay me and da 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 da, -da, -da. Yeah. And then it's only right that we do it again. Yeah. There's no one, just, there's nowhere for Joseph Parker to go. There's the, everybody, the big fight is tied up. AJ Fury tied up. Wilder, he's not going to want to fight Wilder. Like, it's not going to, there's nowhere to go. So yeah. why not do it again? And it'll be another pay-per-view. I need a stack card. I need another stack card, though. I don't, oh, I need, probably, can't, we probably can't go backwards. We can't go backwards. But but you see what I'm saying though. So like if we look at the business side of it, cool. You could say they stuffed Chizora, but you say Chizora counter punched and said, "All right, well you're gonna have to pay me again." And you know what? One one thing you have to say about Chizora is he does get paid, but then he gets paid. He gets bro. paid. He gets paid, and you always see he'll him lose. There. He'll lose two or three on the truck, <laughs> and still be like, I, "They've come to see me." Post match, he'll be there with a the burger. Post, yeah, he'll be there yeah, with Ian yeah. Berger, chilling with the, chilling with the ops. Do you know what I mean? So, do we say that Chizora is the uh, like the, the what Dave Allen is aspiring to be? One hundred percent. Because they, no. we just we just love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but then wait, wait. But the only thing though with Chizora is, I felt the hurt in his voice though. When he was talking, yeah, it, it, he it, was it, hurt right. because it's like it felt deeper than as much as now we can we can almost play it down to this. You know, like when someone just getting cussed by the man then week in, week out, and he's getting used yeah. to it. But I don't like it. He's just there amongst the man them. Obviously they run jokes on me. But it's like lads like certain times other people in it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then he's sitting there saying Dylan White, Dylan White, number one that we fought, yeah? 
I won that fight. I did. Yeah, I won it. Yeah, and what happened? Yeah. Politics stopped me. Why? Because Dylan White has a greater ceiling. I've been here before. I've been to the rodeo. Like people are saying, where does he go God. next? You got to remember, like he's fought Klitschko, he's fought David Hay. There you go. He's fought across mad areas. His longevity is hurting him. That's the issue. So they're saying, oh, like what happens though? So now they say, you know, Dylan's got a bigger ceiling. Dylan takes the result. Fine. Fine. I think it's insane. You're gone. Go so there we go. We say fine. You man run it back. They run it back. Dylan, what a knockout. Yeah? Cool. A little Fine. bit. It's, contra- it's still controversial, even though it ended in KO. Yeah, but what a knockout. So even though there's a way you can argue the first to the second. So that anyway, that goes. Now you move okay. on to um, the Usyk one. Usyk is against Styles Make Fights. Us- now the Takam, the Takam KO as well. Oh, Takam was, was amazing. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Uh, um, he raised his like. D- you yeah. looked at him and said, "Ah, oh, that's that was a knockout of knockouts." Do you know what I mean? And then it was yeah. So then the Spilka and David Price KOs back to back. Yeah, there you go. So we said, you know what, watches all right. Like we're all locked yeah. in. Yeah. Then now you move into. Um, the Usyk. And I thought that was a good fight for him because whoever won, wins that Usyk fight is potentially having AJ potential. Yeah. Yeah. Without, with the, if the Fury stuff wasn't happening. So you say, mm. yo, this is a great fight. But then class and just style. I would say style in terms of Usyk, very elusive, hard to hit. You can't just do that. Come forward, looking for the, what he was trying to do, what he did successfully with Parker. You can't do that with Usyk. Cool. Mm. No problem. Let's move on. Let me take it into Parker. Now, with Parker, I still don't understand why he's respect, not respected, but why people feel the way they feel about him because you had the two men in there that nothing's really going on and you say to one thing, you definitely won. I don't know why people believe that Parker has a higher ceiling. I don't see... I don't, what, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see the ceiling. Like, why? Because they made a decision then and they probably thought to themselves, like they did with Dylan White versus Chisora one. Parker goes further. Chisora's been here. Give Parker the... F- and I say, no, like, they're the same. They're the same. And they're the same beaten? level. They're the same level, bro. And you know who else is the same level as these men? Dillian White. There is nothing to separate these two. It's a hell for level 12 rounds. I put Ruiz Even in there. Mix. I'm putting Ruiz in there as well. I'm putting Ruiz with them, man. I have cool. to. I put Ruiz cool. in there with them, man. Like I have to. Cool. I, I believe he is. I think he. Um, cause just if to... Dillian White and Chisora fought again today, twelve rounds of madness. Yeah, twelve rounds. Like mm. I, I, even though the KO over Chisora was there, I just don't rate it the same as a normal KO just because of how it everything interfered with the mix of it all. No, I rate you know that, that KO. That, I, I that referee the moment. One. Yeah, the referee. That referee was... fucking point, oh, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He ducked the points. She's always thinking, bloody, I've got, go, got to go for it now. The referee gets, was... Gets sp- yeah. Yes. You, Trevor and he was about up that. on the cards. He was winning the fight. Trevor forgot about that. The referee was doing a madness. So, Dillian White, Parker and Chisora on his same level. That's mad that you just said that, you know. I'm not arguing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not arguing. So now you're saying, just, yeah. I'm not arguing. AJ, those AJ Fury Wilder combos... Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, nah. That there's, a, sep- there's a separation I don't, in there. I don't put Wilder in there though. Nah, fair enough, fair enough. But I don't yeah, put fair Wild- Wilder. Fair feels for me like again with with his just. Let, I say you let Wilder even be exist out of the rankings, just yeah, as that. Yeah, because what again? That shotgun, that four year old with a shotgun. <laughs> He still got a shotgun, fam. He still got. There's still a kid with. He's still a kid with a four year. He's still a kid that can destroy a room very quickly. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, man, it's so, you, man. it's so difficult. But that's why I put, I, again, I put them man at the top and yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. then the rest of them a lot just exist here. They same just batch. Exist on the same batch until you have a performance that says we need to re, we need to um, reevaluate. And, and, and also then, Usyk, the jury is still out on Usyk, bro. Yeah, because we, we need to see him, we need to see him um, really mix it. We haven't seen, like, we need, again, the Chisora win was nice, but we need Chisora to see. showed us that you could do what you already do at the, at the heavyweight division. Yeah. It showed us you can move and yeah. you can do it with a heavyweight. Cool. 
You need to be able... You're not going to survive boxing this, this division like no, that. No, 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 no. This division will find you out very quickly. It'll learn you fast. So the ju- yeah, the jury's still out for me. All right, <laughs> cool. Um, I've got something that I wanted to do today. Oh, wait. Before we get into, like, it's a little game I want to play. Right. Our, our, our guy, fam. Our guy, like, the pugilist. Man the- like Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> no guy test. No guy test. We said, you know what? Again, rate us. We're, I call it... We're the speculation kings. 100%. Yeah, well, that's what it is now. It is what it is now. I will say it with my full chest. Like, I know you shouldn't be that brazen and stuff, but first, we... first undisputed speculation, Kings. Yeah, <laughs> no, yo, Lex, it's the last undisputed, yeah, yeah, so we have, yeah, we have to be the first undisputed. <laughs> no, because we said, Yeah, this is real. When this thing was announced, we said, yeah. Hey, Lennox, you're probably at home. You know, Hollyfield was making videos and stuff. We said, Hollyfield seen... wanted it so bad. Hollyfield was speeding up the video as well. We he saw what he was doing. Video, the reaction weren't great. He said, yo, we're going to the IT department. I want some fast forward on this. Make it look natural. He posted the same video again and said, yo, I'm ready for you, Tyson. It was nuts. But we was, said while was that was happening, Lennox was at home. Chilling. Training. No, no, no. He wasn't chilling. He watched the videos. He watched the Tyson video. He said, look how everyone's getting excited about Tyson. It's my old work. After what, after what I did to him. My it. old work. Say you know what happened again, Jim. You know what he did, didn't it? Go on. He put on Bob Marley, fam. And, and he got the rope out. He started skipping. <laughs> Get one, those one. crazy ballads out of my town. <laughs> <laughs> Man got into it. You know what it is? <laughs> yeah, because he probably done it with you. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to see if he still had the speed, fam. He started doing the normal skip. And then it just... <laughs> what, what, why you have to rate it, yeah, is that video was never posted. Yeah. He said, oh. yo, he said, no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because yeah. still, it's still competition. It's still, I'm going to fight you, yeah? Yep. You're not going to yep. see anywhere where I'm at. I'm going to surprise Element for sure. So while Tell these you. people are trying to get into their marketing, like Evander's in his marketing videotape rollout and stuff... Tyson's in a strong role. Like, he's like, listen, I'm still also, the last. Go ahead and talk to me. When, you, when you're the last undisputed champ, yeah. you don't really need the rollout like that. that you don't really need to be doing the enticing video. It, you can just say, I'm coming back. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming back. And you know what's nuts? <laughs> the reason I believe, again, on the speculation thing, this fight is harder to get done because you know there were certain constraints in the Roy Jones fight where he said, yo, we can't knock each other out. Yeah. I don't think Lennox is here to agree to those kind of terms, bro. He's saying, listen, let's fight. I don't know, though, because, you know what I mean? They're, 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 Lennox confirmed they're in talks now for the fight. Yeah. yeah. That means he wants it. Like, let's be real. If you're in talks with Lennox for a fight, this is a man that most certainly loves fighting. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So if, you're, if he's entertaining talks... He wants in because remember the, the Riddick Bowl team was floating about, and he's kind of like, eh, yeah. He was very. It wasn't like I want this to happen. It's more like if you make this offer appealing, then sure I'll do it. But I think the Tyson thing carries that little spark. Of course like, it does. Look what you're doing over there, and I'm the one that beat you. So we're seeing men on drink champs. Yeah, we're seeing. You get me? So now it's like, okay, cool. He's reminding people. That's you, what I remind you them. To remember, I'm the one that yeah, beat yeah, your guy. Yeah, because this ain't a financial. This ain't a financial step at at all. We, as you see, he's on Fox. He's out there talking the That's fights. Right. He's relevant. This is not a thing of trying to find boxing relevance at all. That's right. Yeah. That's so you right. gotta see what's man I'm looking seeing, for. I'm seeing certain names pop up to fight. Like Holyfield's fighting Kevin McBride. Yeah, 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 mad. There's no way that was the top of Holyfield's list. <laughs> Even the rollout, and I don't even want to sound like I'm disrespecting Holyfield because you know I, I mean, love, I love my, Holyfield. My, one of my favorite but, fighters. But they sat down on the press conference and they just talked about Tyson. <laughs> yeah. No, but so I'm like, yeah, I'm saying Holyfield is one of my. You know, already know how I feel about Holyfield. He's my favorite. Do you know what I mean? If I, I just love him. Do you know what I mean? So again, but there's levels to this thing, you know. And when branding some, wise, branding wise, you know, and again, I definitely think their fight goes gets out of hand. It's not going to be how Ray... No, it's, yeah, with Lewis and Tyson, it's not going to be like, yes, exhibition, yeah? But certain things happen in the ring, yeah? When he lands that clean, dirty jab, 
Yeah? That nasty one. And Tyson's on his, you know, and, and he's working to the body. I tell what you what is. hoping for and what you get, I'm paying for that fight, bro. I'll tell you what it is. It's, I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be because I don't think Lennox... Uh, Lennox has one of those jabs, which I, I'm like, I don't think he's going to lose that still. I think it's the jab is still going to be potent and it's going to hurt. And I think we're going to see Tyson do on one of this one. But you know when you get caught when you do it and it's just like, bang. And it's like, you roll, but it's just like, oh, we're fighting, fighting. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he's going to try, but I still... I, I really still, him and, I, hmm. him I really Rafe. feel like Lennox will stick. If they really get it cracking, Lennox again. Of course, I'm saying nothing Lennox in my didn't. mind says Tyson is gonna. Lennox ain't here out here to try to be losing, fam. It's gonna nah. be Lennox again. I'm telling you, and it's not just two um, guys just gracing the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know he's even up in the gym right now. <laughs> Yo, and I even watched them on um at the Ruiz fight, and I was thinking, yeah, he's in condition still. I looked at him, I said, you know, he's with Sean Porter in that. Sean Porter in the maddest cape. I don't know if it was he said it's cold. Sean Porter's swag is different. <laughs> he's the Chris Eubank Jr. of America, fam. You need to put more respect on Sean Porter, fam. <laughs> what have you seen, Sean Porter's fits? Yeah, the Sean fits Porter's are crazy. Fits are- <laughs> No, Bro, they're outrageous. Eubank Jr. That... Eubank Jr. has the big jacket and the big boot market locked. That's his bag. <laughs> like, the, the massive padded footwear, that's his bag. Sean Poor, he's got the bright colour suit shirt fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Smash. He's and looking like an evangelist. The top half doesn't have to yeah, match yeah, the bottom yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he be looking like a strong TV evangelist, fam. I don't know what he's on. <laughs> the Bible Belt. The Bible. But one thing I will say though is that guy is he's growing on in terms of his analysis and oh, just the way he it. breaks yeah. it down. Like, like I like John Ball, man. Casuals, everyone should listen to that guy. Like he knows what he's talking about. He makes it so easy and clear for you to understand. And ever since you, they got Malinaji there, like out of here when it comes to certain things he said, and he's like lost certain positions. Yeah. Porter stepped up and I'm, I'm now starting to see a bit more love it I love it of his good take. I love it and again a long career in this in broadcasting because Sean Porter knows what he's doing knows what he's talking about no, he does. and I think he, does. He, he has this ability to still have a take even when he spoke about Connor it wasn't disrespectful at all it was yeah. just like here's the facts here's this thing but I see what this kid can be I said you know what cats off like you break yeah. down things so simply that it's like, I can't argue with that. There you go. Well done. It's one of the ones where it's like it's almost like I, I get it, but but no. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't need to fight this. He don't need to fight me right mm-hmm. now with everything you're doing. I see the progression that you're on. You don't need to be doing that. That's too much of a jump for you. Mm. But yeah, um, big up to Tyson. Big up so to Lennox. Him. Lennox. Lennox. Yeah, bro. I want to see how this story plays out, bro. Because we need to fly with that one. We have to go and watch though. That one we have to fly out. Oh, like, yeah. Lennox, no. you know what to do. Yeah, you know I mean, yes. I know your right. missus watches. Tell him to sort it out. You got to talk to him when it's late at night. Yeah, you know I mean, just like, yo, what about the boys? <laughs> <laughs> Finish me. <here. laughs> I said, what about the boys? <laughs> what? What, like, um, how do you attract kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just be like, what about the boys? And he should know what she's talking about. I'm like, straight away, like, it's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's us. <laughs> no, it's us. <laughs> I'm my brother's keeper, fam. All right, yes. cool. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's go on. Let's do this, yeah. This is something. This, what, what should we call this? What should we call this section? This is a fun section. Wait, out, out, um, out the bean. I don't know. Out the hat. I don't know. Sign around the hat in it because I'm mix up. The heavy, oh, this is, this is, this mix is up. the mix up. The mix up. The boxing see mix up. You, Come you, on. <laughs> All right. This so is right the mix now, up. This is the. Um, oh, this is how, this is how it's gonna work. We got names in the hat, and when these names come out, we match them, pull out another name, and we discuss who would win this fight. They're fighting. And. We, right now, we want to do it for the heavyweight scene. If oh, there's time, we'll do it for the light heavyweight scene Should after. Should we do the heavyweights, yeah? Let's do the heavyweights. So Heavy, we'll do the, let's do yeah. heavyweights, yeah. yeah. We'll get away. All right, I'm putting the heavyweights in. We haven't cool. put in Fury. This is the we ones put, underneath, yeah. yeah. We haven't put in this Fury. This is the guys below AJ Fury and Wilder. All right, you ready? 
Yep, let's do right, it. Cool. I picked out this name. First name is Hergovic. Hergovic okay. is fighting. Um, Chisora. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, what a script! What a fight! Whoa! Oh. Yo, that's a hell of a in fight. The com- in like get into the comments. I mean, um, yeah, let me, fit me, man. I'm just I'm looking at this now. I'm because you know what it is about Hergovic, which is I don't know how good he is yet. I don't know how good he is yet, but I know he's got he's knocking these guys out. He's six foot six. He's, he seems like he carries power. But would he be him? What's what's his what's his knockout? What's his knockout ratio? Twelve, 12 and all, ten KOs. Huh? Twelve wins, ten KOs. And like he's on a five and KO a run taller, at the moment. You know what? Chizora with the taller fighter. It's not always the best situation for him, you know. Because he's got but, he's got well, to get well, But that <sighs> depends if the tall guy is certified. Because he walked through David Price on some bully boy thing. But David Price should never be spoken about. That's right. But <laughs> we don't know where Hergovic is at just yet. The only the name on his record, what I say is like, you know, potent. You know, he, he's got Eric Molina. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. really consider that the biggest it's name. Not enough, though. Rydell not... Booker. Again, Tom Little's not, not a... really. Tom Little's not enough. Yeah, I mean, Radovic right is what forty. Yeah, you know I mean, nothing about that says. Yeah, uh, you know, you know what I'm so, so the jury's out on her. The jury's out. Level at so the I'm gonna say what I know from Chizora. I'm just gonna put Chizora in from what I've seen. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put. You say Chizora. In. Yeah, I'm gonna say Chizora from just what I've seen in terms of the the um, catalog of work. I'm yeah. just gonna say him. You know what I mean? He 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 will walk him down. Has he? He has never fought someone. I, what we can say about Hergovic is he has never fought anyone like Chizora. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't gone yeah. to war. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just, yeah. I mean, if his, if his pa- I mean, there's a lot of questions on if his power can come carry up the over. Level. That's all I'm saying. That's what, we don't, that's what we don't know. We don't have that yet. We ain't got that. We ain't got that back catalogue. So what we can do right now yeah, is I'll, go I'll give it to Chizora. Yeah, so I'm Chizora's, being generous. I'm being generous. I admit that. But I'll Chizora's take Chizora. in Let's go. Chizora's in cool. See, he's made it. He's made it into this next round. Let's go. Um, I'm back in there. All right, cool. He's come out. The next one is Wilder versus Parker. I didn't even think Wilder was in this mix, but yeah, of course. Wilder Parker. Yeah. I say Wilder. Yeah? Not even yeah, Parker's, yeah. No, nah, I say Wilder because I think I, I, I think Parker's going to start slow, do some weird things. If he gets caught, I don't necessarily just Ooh, assume he's getting wait, up. wait, no. Talk Parker's one-two jab. You know that the jab is... Parker's jab, though, yeah, is is a thing. When he was starting to load up, but Parker just doesn't get busy... He doesn't get busy enough. enough for me. He, oh, you know what happens with him? him? He'll, he'll, do, he'll do too much. He'll jab, jab, mug off, and get clipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get him out. I tried. I, I, I just, tried. I, I think mentally he's not where he needs to. I'd probably say Wilder might be stronger mentally than Parker. Because let's look at Wilder when he was against Ortiz in that mm. first fight. He had some ropey moments. Mm. But he stayed in there and he knocked man out. Yeah. So I'm like... I don't really know for Parker to be on that. Yeah, no, Parker's got this one. He's got yeah, like, nah, like, I say Wilder. Like, 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 like. All right, cool. Two names are pulling out. Um, Dillian versus Hunter. It's long. You know what time it is. What are you going to do? Are you going to do a madness? See, this is the annoying thing about Hunter because he's in that same kind of position that let me, let me have a look at Hunter's I'm record. I, I, I'm getting Just Dillian. refresh myself because... I'm getting Dillian. There's no... I'm not even... I mean, that's that's a slight unproven energy about Michael Hunter. A little, a little bit. Let's see. He's 19-1. Lost to Usyk. For the cruise. I mean, he obviously came from Cruiserweight. 
heavyweight heavyweight resume. You know, split decision with Povetkin in 2019. Not too many big names. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to, at this point. I'm gonna get it. Dillian that. White. I don't even know why you're doing that, fam. I just had to do my due diligence. Power. Bro. I get, it, I get it still, but sometimes you just gotta just move on, fam. Dillian straight in there, bro. Hold tight, Hunter. All right. Big up. It's good to see you still. Um, let's go one second. Here we go. I've got in my hands Ruiz versus Joe Joyce. Scrap. Joyce. Huh? Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is going to keep that jab on his oh. face. And nothing Ruiz is going to do is going to hurt Joyce. Oh. Let's be clear. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He was struggling with that um, Ariola jab. Joyce. He was struggling yeah. with the Ariola jab. And jo Joyce has a jab. We saw it against uh, Dubois. Fair enough. Gr you know, as, as Maestro say, granted. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> yeah. fair, fair enough. Ruiz ain't Dubois. Granted. <laughs> but. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yeah. Ru Ruiz is not Dubois. Granted. But he's that jab is a is a very use smart jab. Yeah. So I he's was... gonna have to get past that big heavy hand. And then hurt Joyce, whose chin is granite, bro. He took bangs from Dubois, you know. And I don't care about Dubois, everything else. Dubois can hit. And he yeah, ate those see, shots. Wait, hold on. I'm just trying to picture this fight in my mind. The jab, he's keeping him off. Ariola's jab was there. Ariola won't pop in it as much as Joe Joyce did. But then the speed, the speed element. He's um, going to have, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's never going to land on Joyce. He's going to land. He's not going to hurt Joyce. And what's to say Joyce that Joyce in those chin. exchanges can't club him? But then it's can he, it's the landing of the club that what head movement what head movement has Ruiz got that makes you think he won't land? No, because there is the he's a counter he is a the only thing is Ruiz is a counter puncher, but a counter with with uh, a counter flurry. That's his. That's yeah, his, I know. That's yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, it's a I'm tough bad, one. It's a tough one. I understand why you're getting. Joyce. From the last performance, from the performance, actually it works. It works because AJ stayed on the jab, knew what he was doing, and then he could, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Joyce, Joyce does it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a shame because Ruiz would have been able to mix it with some other man in here still. Bro, uh, I know. Oh, man, you see, sad to see him go, bro. Wait, hold on. Oh, man, triple D's in. Oh, that's it. There he is. Triple D versus Alexander Usyk. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to say about Triple D, man. <laughs> That's funny. He's, not, he's not landing. He's just not landing. All right, cool. All right. After what we saw that last display against Joyce, nothing says to me you're going to plant one on Usyk. All right, so because we because we come to the end, yeah, yeah, I've got I've got names. These are the these are the last like one, two, three, four, five. These are the five heavyweights remaining, yeah? yeah? We're gonna rank these guys in order, yeah? We have Dylan, we have Wilder, Dylan, Usyk, Joyce, and Chizora. Do you wanna see these men scrap it out, or should we, do you, what should we say, do? Say, say it one more time. We got Wilder, Dylan, Usyk, Joyce, and Chizora. I think we should take this to Monday Night Smoke, though, and then they, they can see who wins these scraps. All right, cool. In the next cool. round, but where where are you ranking these men? So I say Wilder probably sits at the at the top. Yep. Yeah. Dillian. Dillian ahead of Joyce. Yeah, CV wise, we I'd say I'm just gonna put him there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dillian Joyce. Um, Joyce ahead of wait. Usyk Chizora. Usyk Chizora. I'm not. I'm not angry with what I've seen. The funny yeah. thing though is the the movers and shakers in this. The ones that can grow is Joyce and Usyk. They can really mm. climb up that pack. Yeah, they big can time. Climb big time. Up that pack, but I think that um, the the issue is I feel that while the um, Joyce is perfect for Wilder. Wilder would like... I think Wilder hurts Joyce. 
is one of those opponents that Wilder would he love. Off, he tee off on his headpiece, he bro. Would, but he would that's, love that's it. What, it's one of those that he, he off his head. Love. But the maddest thing is this year, if if Joyce eats that up, that's when we say this chin right that he's got, all time great. Night. All time, all time. I don't know, though. I'd love to believe it. That's a crazy roll of the dice, though. That's so but also, I think we'd be we'd, we'd underestimate the what his jab might look like against a Wilder. It's true. It's true. Again, that, that would be a really but good these fight. are fights, man. These are again the, these five here, and I do put Ruiz into the mix because I don't care about Hunter and um, like saying I can't say I don't care about Hergovic, but he needs more work to be done. Do you know what I mean, I don't care about Triple D and Hunter at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Ruiz, yeah, yeah, I still see yeah. him as a. Um, I still see him in there. Chisora, you can have him in there. You can take him out. It's 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 up to it's you, evil. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But these men here, Wilder, Dylan, Joyce, Usyk, Ruiz, those men, we need to get a crack in. I get you're Rank trying to it. make the hard fights done. I get those hard, like AJ Fury is nuts. There's enough excitement in the heavyweight division. Anyway, people. Agreed. Um, so we'll let these we'll let these guys decide on in yeah, the comments, yeah, yeah. and then we'll talk it through on Monday Night Smoke. Monday Night Smoke, um, the fights are in the hat. They're gonna do it. What, what are we saying for the the next one? Oh, you want to do so? Yes, do it. All right, bro. The light heavyweight mix the up. The light heavyweight mix up. Yo, all right, cool. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this one is. This one is crazy. This one is crazy. Mm hmm. All right, cool. What's our first fight? I know this first fight is gonna be mad. Okay, two names. This is, the Brit- this is the British light heavyweight mix up. Dan Aziz versus Callum. Ooh. Oh, what a fight that would be! Wow. First round, let's take okay. center of the stage. Okay. Bang out. Okay. Are you on it? If you're on it, I'm on it. Yeah. Nah, because they, again, they will be My a My Bridging Bias? Bridging Bias is there, but listen, it's there. Uh, it's a, so Bridget... they're both going to come forward on a... They're both going to be on scrapping. They're going to be on scrap, but remember, Dan Aziz, as much as he's on scraps, he's also on a technical team. Yeah, We've seen it brain, twice yes. now. Yes. The Australian fight, again, he was giving us technical. He's very... He's not... He's smart. He gives... He, like, he's on the bang out team. If you're on the, the wild stuff... But that man is a thinking man. So Callum's going to obviously, Callum's on smoke. Callum comes forward and he's like, yo, let's bang out. It depends if Dan Aziz is on the bang out team. Because I'm like, I kind of prefer Dan Aziz on a technical one in that fight. Because mm-hmm. Callum, for me, fav- that fight favours Callum if they go for war. So I'm like, I'd like to see Dan Aziz be technical with him. And then I think that's his best chance. Because when he's on his technical job, yo... I'm stuck. I'm not gonna Pretty lie. This, me, this is not the car. Um, this is not the fight I wanted to see yet. Like as I pulled it out, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is not the fight that I wanted so early, bro. Um, that's it's a too mad hard. Fight. It's a mad fight. Um, so two different, two different fights have. To... <laughs> you've got, you've got to say what kind of Dan do you? But then I know I, I trust Dan on the bang out thing though. When he does go for war, but I Callum, trust, I Callum's trust, got. I do. Callum's but I also I rate his boxing, and I think that might be the fight to to be in the boxing bag. Mm. Callum can bang, knocked over Peterbiev, banged out that last man. Like, yeah, you know I mean, I I think he's got power, like like first round, like stoppage power. So I'd like I'd like to see a technical approach because I just trust Dan's boxing. Mm. Once he gets into that that. That compact inside that jab that he gets it working. I'm like, I, I, that's how I see him winning that one. It's, it's so. It's, I hate you. Do you know what I mean? That, it, this one here, yeah, is so mad because <laughs> I rate like. It's tough to give I'm it. Not gonna lie, yeah. to give what, it. I, can I tell you what I was hoping for? I was hoping it's going to be Dan Aziz versus Yard, fam. I wouldn't even have been wait. I wouldn't even wasted any time, fam. I would have done it so fast. <laughs> I would went straight to Dan. Without even thinking about it. Now with Kellen, I Well we're I here just, now. So we're here now. Oh shy. It's hard to give it to, to, to Dan only on, on the basis of I mean oh, okay, 
what we can we are we factoring in factoring in the CV or we factoring what we think happened in between the, the ropes with those two men? You have to factor in the CV. You have to factor in the CV. And, and yeah, not only I this, think on the basis the CV, of with the, like what we did with Herkovich and Chizora. There you go. You have to factor in the CV because we don't yeah. know. Yes, we've seen. Yes, we've seen um, Dan Aziz box with cle- like cleverly box. But we know Dan is the man that will still go in there. If he's in a war, he's on warring, fam. We've seen that. Like, it don't take much to draw yeah. him into a war. Because even the corner be like, yo, Dan, we're not here for that today. Do you know what I mean? Where Callum's going to be trying to start this war from beginning. Now, we know okay. that he carries, we know that he carries power because his CV says it. Do you see what I'm saying? So now when we say, if it's a war thing, we have to put Callum there. If it's a boxing mm. thing, if it's a boxing thing like all the way and Dan sticks the game plan, then he say Dan. Yeah, but we I feel that he'll be brought into a war. Yeah. I feel like a snake, bruv. I feel like man. with a CB. I love Dan, man. I mean, let's look at it like this though. Callum Johnson's 35. Dan is he's so, okay. so I hear when Dan I when I see a fighter's 35 and he's a banger, bias came I in. say if he gets to round six onwards, I don't know what that engine is like. Dan Aziz. We, did, we didn't see his engine in I'm his last snake. fight. I'm a Dan snake. Dan is in shape. Dan Aziz. I'm a, I'm a snake, though. Bedroom Bias took over in that one. That was oh. mad. I don't even know. I think someone could really argue with me on Monday Night Smoke and they could smoke me the hell out of here with that. It's a, it's a, it's a tricky one, Where have man, you done, though? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Dan is 31. It's, it's, it's the, it's, it's, we're, we're trying to do the rounded thing. I, I just, you know what it is? I just, I can't, I, oh man, the bridging by his thing. I can't bring myself to say it. Because it's, it's like, he's, he's mixed it with Beterbiev. It's Callum. He, kn- he knocked Beterbiev down. I don't talk about don't talk about it. 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 It's Callum. Let's just go. Let's move on. <laughs> Dan, I'm so sorry, bro. Nah, but that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Blue bro, fam. I can't. I'm staking the end. Wait, what are you gonna do? Bring it back. All right, we're gonna have to just yeah for the integrity. I gotta say, Callum Johnson. All right, cool, Callum. Cool. But if they fight, best believe I'm wearing a Dan Aziz t-shirt. Oh damn! Meet me in the middle of the ring, bang out. No, I was hoping I'm my boy was gonna be in with here. With Dan Aziz face on the front. <laughs> I was hoping, even Lyndon, I was hoping he was going to get one of those ones, bruv. I didn't get what I wanted. Anyway, let's go. All right, call us. Two one. names. Lyndon versus it, Ross Clark Yard. See, these combos get, these combos get so techy once you actually know, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Lyndon versus Yard, bro. Lyndon versus Yard. All right, cool. So this is the rematch that we're rematch, predicting. yeah. Yard, KO. That's my, that's just my prediction for the rematch anyway. Listen, Brent, uh, North Bank Brent made a great point. He said, yo, yeah, cool. Maybe that right hand was injured, but it worked to his benefit because it made him fight cautious and on the jab and it worked in his favor. You start letting that right hand go, you might find yourself in a dog fight. And a dog fight with Yard, if you're Lyndon Alpha, ain't a fight for you, bro. Yeah, okay, Lyndon Alpha. I'm going Yard. Do you know what I'm getting Linden? Do you know I'm getting Linden? Um, I don't think he's gonna work out that. The, the, I, I don't think he's gonna be able to deal, work out that jab. I don't think he's gonna work it out in time. I think he's gonna get. I don't think he's gonna. In that fight, you could see there was a, an effort on Yard's side to think. Let me show everyone I can jab. So he was trying to mix it with jabbing with the jabber. And he, you know, it wasn't working for him. The minute he decided to make when it a dog fight in around eleven and twelve. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. He's out, he he's almost out. got him out of here. Yeah, he's out. He's out. He's and out. I'm he like, he tried. I tried. I tried. I tried to give because I've been giving Lyndon a hard time, like, and I don't want to seem like a Lyndon snake because of because of his personality. It's not really about that. So I was trying to like play like and say, you know what? Maybe he doesn't work out the jab in time. But then, as mm. you said, he had success in the late rounds. And he looked like it. Oh, if if y'all turned that up from early, we would have seen a totally different fight. We think so. That's my yeah. That's my uh, prediction for the. For but Linden had one hand though. Doesn't matter to me. That that for me kind of matters just a little bit. Like 
Well, my thing is this year, you got to be honest, sometimes that's a blessing in disguise because nice. you start trying to throw the right, you're you're now vulnerable nah, for counting. Now, nah, do you know what? That's going to be undecided, so I'm going to leave these two men here and let the streets decide, let the great defeaters decide. Cool. He's still I've, through I've, my, I've made my head in the sand. That's, that's my I hate what you're saying. You said that from the beginning of time. All right, cool. Next fight is... Don't be my two friends, please. Peters versus Boatsy. Boatsy. <laughs> Hold tight. Oh my days. This should be a good fight, actually. Who have I got left? Joe Smith versus Richards. That's a, it's what we that's a good one. It's what we wanted as well. Yeah, listen. I'm not, yeah, we already know. I'm giving it to I'm going with, I'm going with Richards after that performance of Bivol, mate. Of course 100%. we are. Joe, hold tight. Thanks for the title, fam. Yeah, that's that's right. that's, a, ooh, that's interesting. So the last, the five names that are making it through that we have to discuss on Monday Night Smoke. Did we have five or was it four? No, but we'll have five because I didn't take Lyndon out because it was undecided. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Five cool. names that are in there is Boatsy, Callum, Richards, Lyndon and Yard. Who wins the um when we when we take these when we take these out? When we take these out, we're just gonna discuss it on Monday Night Smoke. Who wins? Alright, cool. Yeah? Alright, people. Again, I, I love the mix up, you know. The mix up is here. Like we we'll do this with like each week the class anyway. Um we'll get through round one and then you lot decide how it goes. Um Yeah, bro. Sick show. Okay. Um people, you know what to do. We got oh, Canelo. Sorry, bro, just to say Canelo, Billy Joe this weekend. Canelo Billy Joe this weekend. Um, prediction? Um, less of a prediction, more of what I want. Yeah. Uh, I want Billy Joe to do it. Uh, I'm, re- I'm rooting for Billy Joe to get it done in this fight. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. It's not really a prediction. It's just what I want to see. My prediction is Canelo KO mid to late rounds. Yeah. Um, I'm. With, I'm no. I'm not. I'm not with you on that one. I was gonna say yeah. I want Billy Joe to win it. Entertainment, why? Actually, yeah. Just because of what That's happens. Right, just what happens. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Billy Joe winning all those belts is crazy. What? Um, um And you know he's going to diss Eddie Hearn in the post fight. He's not happy with this whole run out. Yeah. You know what? I'd love that to happen. Just. It's going to be it's gonna be a drama show. Big drama show. Just for mix up, like, yeah. alone. I need that to happen. Is it going to yes. happen? I don't believe it. Um, it's for Billy Joe to prove us wrong. Billy Joe, I've had a lot of things to say about him. Let's see if he's the guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Let's see if he's the guy. He's He's been, he's he's like, he's been a victim of himself many a times. And I think him not being active is being due to just him, stupid shit that he does. But what a champion. Yeah. It will be a good champion to watch. I love to see how he, he moves with that belt. It'd be exciting. And also the saga of Eubank Jr. and Billy Joe just keeps going because I'll tell you what, they, as much as, you know, you crit- we critique Eubank Jr. and all that kind of stuff, when those two get together, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Like, if we're talking about legacy and continuing your father's thing, he's found his Nigel Ben. Except in this thing round, he's Nigel Ben. <laughs> and Billy Joe's Hubeck, Celia. Say no more. All right, people. Hopefully, one day Conor Ben goes up to 160 and we get Conor Ben, Hubeck, Celia. <laughs> Never happening. Let me ring this nah. bell, man. Guys, oh, sorry, just to say, sorry, this on. Saturday, the watch along, we're going to be right there as the, at this time at a mad time, whatever time that is. In the, <laughs> we'll be there. Four or five, we'll be there. We'll be there. It's going to be our first US. Time watch along. We're Let's do what we it. do, bro. Come on, pick up yourself. Let me ring the bell again, bro. Peace. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be. I liked it still. Yeah, same. I liked it. Very nice, very clean. Boom. Um.